Hello everyone, and welcome back. Until now we have implemented some great stuff, the plans are ready, we have fetched them using data grid, tables, cards, lists, and so on. we have implemented the switcher. Now we should go ahead, we still have remaining edit, create, delete the, a plan, and uh, create and delete an item. So basically, to do that, uh, or sorry, before we're moving to implementing that, we are going to implement some cosmetics for this UIs. For example, we need to implement this nav menu on the left side adding some options over here and create a component that's parent for each page that have a title and has a, some breadcrumb and a container from here so you have some spacing and better appearance so let's go ahead and do that very quick it's going to be a simple uh, process let's start with the nav menu so i'll go over here and then open up this one and we'll go to components let's scroll down for nav menu where is nav menu here we go I'm gonna open up this one so we'll have just something like this, and basically, uh, I'm gonna take this one as it is. Or yeah, what we needed, this one. And let's go to shared, open up nav, nav menu over here. Okay, uh, this is the default nav menu, I think. What we need to do, actually, let me go to the main layout. And we see over here, this is the nav menu, so I'm going to call that component, which is nav menu, like this. And over here, I'm going to add this code. And we are going to remove this one because it is not needed. Like that. So over here, I'm going to type plan wrap. V2.1 by AK Academy, for example, just to add a interesting. Now what we need, uh, we are going to call this one home and it will let's make it index and the plans plans and over here we'll add plan slash add so we can add the plan directly from here and what you're going to do is we'll add another one which is called yeah we need about and we need open items Open items. We, we can call this and uh, not open items. Not open items. Uh, sorry, not done items. Just like this. So if we click save over here, and we click save over here, let's see how it looks like right now. So just wait a little bit until the build is done. So here we go. Building. Almost done. Interesting. Interesting. So here we go. Come on. It's taking more than usual. And it's built now. Okay, look at that. This looks great actually, right? If you take a look at this, this one shouldn't be disabled. We should enable it again. But if we click to slash plans, we are going to see this nice page. It's just there. We can switch between the view. Awesome. Everything just working fine. So now this is much better than before, right? We can switch. Interesting. This one should be enabled. Let's go ahead and enable that. If we go to nav menu and so we just remove this, we click save and now we are done from this part that was very simple to set up the nav menu. Now let's go ahead and create a page. We will call it like, um, uh, it's, okay, it's built now. Okay, that's great. So I'll go back for this page and I'll go to basically in the components. I will add a folder, I will call it layouts, layout. 
So this layout will have a component which is the parent for every page. It has a title, has a set of breadcrumbs, and has a container from the side. So add a controller, uh, sorry, razor component, and we are going to call this one planner app page, planner app page. Just as an example, you can call it whatever you want. So this page, as you can see, let's use the parent namespace and not the folder namespace. Space planner app dot components, just like that. It's going to take Let's create a code behind file. I don't like to use any code over here anymore. Okay. So it's going to take a parameter. Of type render fragment. A child content. Render fragment, as you know, it's a piece of, of UI or a piece of HTML or Razor or whatever that could be um, it could be rendered as it is. And actually, this piece of uh, HTML or UI it is the same. It is it is the child components, which is the page plan, the plans list, the create plans, and so on. Because this is the parent of every page, so or for every set of components within a page. And the other parameter that we need is the title. Like string title. And the third parameter is a list of breadcrumbs. So if we go, as you can see, if we go to here, we have an breadcrumbs. You know, those are the breadcrumbs that you can see here on every uh, application that like home, plans, create a plan, and so on. So we have those set of links. They are actually, looks very good. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, this one, I think this one looks good. Um, I will, I will take it. So, the parameter is going to be a list of breadcrumb item. So let me go ahead and add public list of breadcrumb item, and I'll call it breadcrumb items. Okay. Like that, this is all what we need. So now let's go ahead for this one and we are going to add an addition for that, a container. Actually, if you go here, we have a container and you can see the container add this space from uh, from the side, which actually it's uh, very important. So small, uh, we don't need to use small, maybe we'll use something else, but let's take mud container, mud container, container, and width max width dot large. We are going to, to make the content large, not small like this. We're going to make it large, for example, until here, which is great. So this is uh, this is what we are aiming for. Now here we are going to put the child content, which is the content of the other components. And at the top we will have a title, mud text. Typo. So typo dot h5, I think. And here we are going to print the title, just like that. And below that, we are going to put those breadcrumbs that actually we have just seen. So if we go below, below, like this one, let's take breadcrumbs, just like that. Put them over here and put the crumb items actually just like that so now we have this one let's let's see if we if we use it how it's going to look like but before doing this i'm just going to give this one a new so it's not being null and also the case that's great now i'm going to save that and let's go to the first page that we have which is plans and i am going to use that page, PA page, just like this, and then we give it a title. Uh, the title is My Plans, My Plans, like that. And we are going to take it like this. This is the child content property. The child content by default detects everything inside the component as a child content. 
So, and now what we have over here is the breadcrumb items equals uh, bread crumb items so let's go to the code behind file do we have a code behind file no let's create one and I will private list bread crumb item Bread crumb items equals new and we bet them one by one this is the first one the text is home it takes us to slash index and the other one is bread crumb item plans takes us to slash plans but actually it is disabled because you know we are we are in the in that page so we don't need we don't need it so now let's save all of this stuff and let's see right now how actually it looks like if you go for this one it's being built so now it's going to look much better but we have an error before uh, let's see where did this error? Here is the error. The name breadcrumb item does not exist in the line three. Okay, interesting. Maybe I messed up this one. It's a bread. Ah, sorry, it's a breadcrumb. Because we are referencing it here, we call it break crumb. So save. Okay. Looks like I have to trigger the save from a razor file. Let's see now. Interesting. Now just started. Yeah, we are waiting on fire for the blazer hat reload. That's actually should come up very soon. Interesting. Where is that? So if I go, let me just stop this one and run it again. I think it is better. Especially when you create a new file or something like that, it's not always detecting those files. So this is why you have to stop and uh, rerun it again. And here we go, it works fine. So interesting, let's close this version. And now we are in this page, we have now nav menu. So if you go to plans, oh, look at this. This is, of course, much, much better than before. We have to remove this one because it's not needed anymore. We already have it at the top over here and we need to add some margin top and we are just ready to go. And I think this one is, is too much. So we need to, to increase it a little bit. So I will go to the page. I'll make this one extra large. Let's try to use extra large and let's try to, to give it like a margin top a little bit. MT2. And let's increase this one, the title, and let's remove the title from the plans list. So if we go over here, I think this one is not needed anymore. So click save again, and let's see. I think now it's going to look like exactly the way we want it to be. Okay, I think if you look right now, it looks much, much better than before. And yeah, it's, it's just great. I think I liked it. I like this one. So this is fantastic. Now we have, it looks much better. You see just small touches, but it makes actually a very big difference. And if you click to home over here, it takes us to the index, which does not exist yet, but we are going to create that. So this is everything. I hope you just enjoyed this session. It's, it, it was very simple and quick, but yeah. It's very important. Actually, before we proceed to the create and edit, we have a good foundation to go. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.